In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can automatically pull in a stock's industry or sector straight into Google Sheets, and we can completely automate the process as well. So for example, right now, you can see we're currently looking at Coca-Cola stock, and the sector they're in is consumer defensive. But if I were to change this ticker to, let's say, maybe Apple and hit enter, you can see this data is going to automatically update and show technology. Now, what's cool about this as well, let's say instead of sector, I want to see something like industry. I could just type in industry right here and hit enter, and you can see the data again will automatically load in. So again, this is a very powerful way to pull in a stock's industry or sector. I'm going to be taking you step by step on a few different ways you can do this. Now, the two different ways you can do this is one, you can web scrape this into your spreadsheet. This is a very complicated process and there's a couple of problems with it as well that I'll talk about here in just a moment. Or you can use what is known as the ticker data function. Ticker data is a tool I've created to automatically pull in a stock's information straight into Google Sheets and it also gives you access to hundreds of different metrics you could pull straight into your spreadsheet. So for example, again, we're focusing on industry and sector today, but let's say I just wanted to pull in a stock's dividend. I could type in dividend here and hit enter and you can see Apple's dividend payment is going to automatically load in. But again, let's go ahead and stick to talking about industry and sector right now. So let's go ahead and go back to Coca-Cola stock and talk right now about how to web scrape this in. Now you can see here, this is the formula to web scrape a stock sector straight into Google Sheets. It's extremely complicated. And you can see here, we're using the import XML function to pull in information from finviz.com. So if we go over to finviz, you can see right here, it lists off consumer defensive. This is what we want to web scrape into our spreadsheet. And I found that the formula to do this is again, using the import XML function, typing out finviz URL, using the substitute formula here and using cell C3. So whatever's listed here, this should automatically update and then pulling in some XML code right here. We also have to use things like the upper formula, the if and is blank formula. So again, it's a pretty complicated formula. Now it does work as of right now, but here's the problem. Finviz will periodically change the layout of their website. And anytime you do this, this function will automatically stop working. So for example, if you're watching this video two or three months from now, it's completely possible that they've changed the layout of their website and this function will no longer work. So if you use this function to build out an advanced spreadsheet, it could automatically stop working and mess up your entire spreadsheets. That's not the case with the ticker data function. And what's beautiful about this, again, like I showed you earlier, is you can completely automate exactly what you want to look at. So let's say we want to look at sector as well now. I'll just type out sector and hit enter. And now we automatically have Coca-Cola sector. So yes, as of right now, it is possible to web scrape this data into Google Sheets, but there is still a lot of problems with this. Again, this is why I built ticker data. Ticker data gives me hundreds of options of metrics to pull straight into my spreadsheet, and I can completely automate the process as well. So if you're interested in getting access to the ticker data function or getting access to some of my premium spreadsheets, then you can head over to tickerdata.com at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.